Kentucky from the state of North Carolina. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Yeah. Bring it yeah. All right. All right. You know, I was in the U.S. Congress for a little while. I get distracted by people around me, especially good people who care about their country. And one good thing the Congress did that I can point to is take the comma out. There's no separation under God. It is a part of who we are, and to be successful, it's who we must be. That's right. <laughs> We're endowed by our Creator. Our Creator. creator. He gave us the responsibility, the privilege, of choosing those who would lead us. As I look at and I'm asked occasionally about what the Tea Party stands for, why you all are willing to stand out here in this liquid sunshine, why are you willing to stand up for the things, the values, and the principles that made the country great? Well, you've given that responsibility. And that's why I'm so proud to be here with you. I was a Tea Partier back in the early 90s before the term became popular. Tea Party took place in the harbor, someplace up north, many, many years ago. And they talk about taxation, that's important, we pay too much, tax enough already, absolutely. But a big part of that was about religious freedom. The religious freedom to stand before whomever and with patience and love in your heart to say we are now by our Creator. So as I look forward to the next day, we're not promised anything except right now, the next week, and the next election. I really appreciate what the Tea Party, and it's far greater than that. It's people that really, 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 really care in all kinds of ways about our country and are willing to take an active part in our government, which we require challenge and privilege to do. I really appreciate what you're doing. And as your state party chairman, my role is to help people understand that may be a little vague at this point, that grassroots formed, built, and have nurtured America in the American spirit. So as your party chairman, I'm going to make sure that people understand elections cannot be held successfully without people at the grassroots level supporting, honoring, and requiring the proper spirit, attitude, and results from their elected officials. All right. Yeah. Accountability should be held to high standard. What we say when we're in problems. Okay, a couple quick things to remember. CPR. That's what you all are about. Resuscitating conservative principles, restoring them. Yeah. That's what you're here for. Yeah. Listening. Listening to people who are out there every day successfully, not always, but for the most part successfully supporting their families, the schools, the churches, and their country. The great thing about America, you don't have to be successful every time because America will give you another chance if you get one bad hand. So conservative principles restored. A government that is responsible to the people. A government that is relevant in people's lives and making sure, let me go back to David. Where did David go? There he is. Started off where we need to start off. We are not owners. We are stewards of the greatest nation on earth. That's right. We're stewards of the resources. Yeah. And we are tasked, charged, and given the privilege of being good stewards so that the things that the Creator has set in place for us to do and the standards that He has set before us, the standards that we follow. And going forward, people voted for change in 2010. People are going to vote in 2012 for that party and those people which represent the values and the principles that they believe in that made the country great and will make the country great. So to you as Tea Party members, whether it's orange pico tea or regular tea or decaffeinated tea, you're here to stay. You brought a wonderful, wonderful host of things to the party, which is a republic. We are a republic. Let's act like one. Thank you very much. We've been blessed by your participation. God bless you all. Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. Could you give us a quick word about the monumental change of power? <laughs> monumental change of power. In the General Assembly. You know what? I was here. I'm trying to remember where my office was. Somewhere up there. And the first Republican guard in the House took place. And that was kind of a big deal. Now, thank you for reminding me. 
But today you stand here before a historic moment where the House and the Senate yeah. will now be controlled by people and I don't know who's waiting on me, I don't want to get long winded. But what happened here is Tom Tellis in the House, Phil Berger in the Senate, and a legion of other folks, you all very, very importantly, stood behind them. We won that majority in the House in spite of ourselves. I helped put that together. These guys and ladies did it because of what they did. So it's a historical moment. They have established clearly, written clearly what they stand for and what they believe in. So it will be easy to monitor. It will be easy as they perform and as they govern well to say to folks who may not be out here in the rain, who hadn't thought about their government and being a part of it and bringing them in, give people something to believe in, what are people looking for? They're looking for heroes to exhibit moral and ethical leadership. That's right. That's what you're going to see. That's what today's all about. Yeah. Thanks for the question. Let's celebrate that. Thanks, Dave. Thank you very much.